Welcome to the very first Sony Online Entertainment video blog. It's going to be a quarterly happening where members of the SOE staff get together, talk about what's happening, and update you on things that are new at SOE. I'm Courtney Simmons, and I'm the Senior Director of Corpcom NPR. And today's video blog is a chat with our president, John Smedley. As you know, your PR team is hard at work getting ready for E3, which is the first big event of the summer. And we're going to be showing um, our heritage games like EQ2 and Lawn. And we're also going to be showing our new games that we're working on like Free Realms and The Agency. But tell everybody what's going on with EQ2 right now. So we're really excited. EverQuest 2 is right in the throes of the uh, Living Legacy campaign. We're bringing a lot of new and old players uh, into the fold, and we're, we're seeing huge rise in the population numbers across both EverQuest and EverQuest 2. And we've got some big stuff planned for E3 to announce uh, that we're going to be starting to include in the Living Legacy program. That's really been a great program for us. People are getting into Living Legacy and reacquainting themselves with EQ2 for free. Yeah, it's, it's one of the nicer things is that we can bring people in very, very cheaply, in fact, free. They can play the game for 60 days. They can actually get in there and, and uh, ex explore the world of EverQuest 2 in a huge way. It's fun to see so many people coming back. Um, but E3, we will be showing off some new stuff with EQ2, but we're also showing the agency, which is getting a lot of buzz ever since we announced the concept of this game last year. What's going to be new with the agency this year? Well, people are going to see a much more playable and exciting version of uh, the agency at E3. We've got some amazing stuff that we're showing, and internally we're playing it all the time. It's coming along really well, and people are going to see some of the new stuff that we haven't even announced before on, on Agency and, and get to see for the first time just how deep this uh, awesome new MMO shooter is. Our Seattle team is cranking up there on this, and in fact we're putting together a group of kind of famous first-person shooter players uh, that are all ranked out there and getting their input, and that's going to be an exciting program we can talk about later. I know your baby is Free Realms. Well, it's, um, Free Realms is certainly, the we're doing that here in San Diego, so I get to see the progress on it um, every single day, and I'm very excited about it, particularly because, you know, I've got four kids, and I'm very excited about the concept of gaming with my kids. I do that all the time, and uh, this is our first game that I can sit down and play with all my kids, and they, they, ra they range in age from uh, 7 all the way up to 13, and this is a game that's going to appeal to you know, a really broad audience, so I'm excited about it. And you know, I've got three kids too, 8 to 17, and we've got a great usability lab here at SOE where we're testing the games with our kids, which is fun because we're actually, our kids are being able to make these games fun for their friends, and, and I think that it's really going to be a success, and at E3 we're going to be showing that as well. Um, but we have a surprise at E3, don't we? Yes, we do. We've Should got we a, tell them? We've got some big news coming out for... Uh, a game that we've been doing out of Austin now for uh, quite a number of years now. We're going to be announcing DC Universe Online in our Don't partnership with Warner Brothers. Don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Yeah. Uh, you're going to see some amazing stuff on DC. I saw you playing that uh, recently here in the game room, and you were having a blast. You know, it. I sat around the other day and threw buses around for two hours. It, this game is amazing. People are going to be blown away when they see it, and I think for the first time, people are going to feel like... There's a superhero game that makes you feel like a superhero. It's yeah, awesome. you really get to go in Metropolis and Gotham and live there and be there and interact with, I mean, all the iconic characters that we grew up with. Yeah, it's really cool to be able to see Superman and Batman and to fight alongside them and to, you know, be fighting the Joker. And it's it's just an amazing testament to the, the creativity that we've got out in Austin and how great this game is playing. Um, I'm excited to really show it publicly for the first time. It's uh, I th too. it's huge. John Blakely and his team are doing a great job. They are. Then not like we didn't have anything else going on this summer. Just five days after E3, we all moved to San Diego for Comic Con. Yes. And that is really where we are debuting. It's the DCUO coming out party. Comic Con is an exciting time for us here once a year. In fact, it's funny because you know for about four days this place empties out. Uh, our people, you know, everybody's got some oh, you know, I'm sick today or whatever, and you, you go down to Comic-Con and you see half our guys down there. It's, um, it's a blast, and it's down here in San Diego. It's been going on forever, and there could not be a better place for us to, to really be pushing the, the DC to the, to the public for the first time. Well, and to the fanboys. I mean, that's really who we're going after. We're going right into the heart of, you know, where they get their information. And so there'll be some um, specific media efforts uh, that my team and I are planning, but there's also going to be really right directly to the consumer with a, a MySpace page as well they should keep checking back for. 
But then um, we have our own celebration around Comic Con. We invite people right here to our studio. Talk about block parties. Yeah, our, our block party, we literally just rope the block off here and we bust people in from Comic Con. And, and you'd be amazed at how many fans will drive down here from Los Angeles or even as far away as San Francisco to actually come here and just interact with both the, the development teams and get to see some of the games that we have coming up in ways that they really can't experience any other way. It's a lot of fun. They get to see our cubicles. Uh, yeah, it's the highlight exciting. of the tour. Very exciting. I think uh, I think really that's why people come is to see the cubicles. Yeah, we clean before you come, I promise. Um, then we have a special guest, right? We're expecting a special guest at our block party celebration on that Saturday. Do you want to tell them who it is? Yeah, uh, Jim Lee, famous comic book, uh, comic book artist, is going to be here, and he's going to be signing autographs. And... I can't wait for people to see what uh, the work that he's done on DC. Oh my gosh, we're, we're expecting a lot of people, so come early, uh, and we are printing and producing a special piece of artwork that Jim will be signing, so definitely, oh come, might be a once in a lifetime chance to yep. really get something custom. It's funny, because a lot of people don't realize what a huge MMO fan Jim Lee really is. He's not, this isn't just, you know, when, when people read the title that he's the executive creative director they don't understand that he's out here a couple of days a week that he's literally staring over the shoulders of our artists as they're drawing Superman so our Superman is in the style of Jim Lee um, because he's been right there drawing it with our guys well he was a big EverQuest player at the beginning right massive EverQuest player that's what I thought like guild leader and maxed out early on and really hardcore oh yeah Jim was at the very first um, what we called our uh, for, it wasn't called fanfare back then, but but we had put out an announcement to the, to the community. Hey, we're at Carl Strauss Brewery at uh, seven o'clock tonight. C come on in, and that was the first time I ever got to meet Jim. He just showed up for a beer with everyone. Uh, that's the great thing about Jim is that he has a passion for these games and a passion for spending time with fans. So it was really exciting. That's cool. Yeah. Well, speaking of the fans, uh, we get back from Comic Con. We don't have much time to breathe, and we head to Vegas, which who doesn't want to go to Vegas. For our annual fanfare. Yeah, our fanfare is uh, it's, it's a really special event for us because once a year we get to, to really spend time directly with the people that love our games the most. And it's a really inspirational time for our, our team because you go there and you get recharged. And, you know, it's people don't understand that, that the that kind of interaction is what we live for. We, we are making these games so that the fans can, can live in them and be a part of, of this world that we uh, we create with their help. So for us, this is really exciting. And we always pick Vegas because we love it there. Yeah, I mean, just that simple. And they love it there too. And last year we had uh, well over a thousand participants and we're expecting um, registration to be even higher. You can go to our website and register for Fanfare and get in early and get all the special. We, we do give a lot of special things to people that show up because a lot of in-game items, a lot of uh, prizes, equipment. There's a lot of ways to leave Vegas with more than just a hangover. Yeah, this year the, the fans are going to uh, get really excited because we're going to be letting them into an upcoming uh, SOE game into the beta, um, and we're really excited about that. Plus, we do your community dress every there every year. It'll be a webcast as well as this year I think we're going to be um, working with our new partner, VVox, on getting your community address pi pumped, pumped right into our games. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about the new uh, VVox partnership and uh, how that's going to work? So really proud to say that um, the the voice stuff has that we're doing in partnership with VVox has just launched on the EverQuest 2 uh, test center and will be going out to a lot of the other games here really shortly. I think actually Star Wars Galaxies fans can are going to be seeing it either today or tomorrow. I think they're next, yeah. And and the quality is amazing. Our goal here is to be able to give not just our players but players from every you know quarter of gaming to actually give them a free voice solution uh, using our stuff that's going to actually um, let them and have their own guild voice chat their own chat of uh, chats while they're in our games but also if they want to play other games and use our voice chat that's going to be okay too it's a service we're offering every gamer everywhere you don't even have to play soe games and so watch for more on that see you all next quarter that sounds a lot of fun see you later thank you bye